that fish crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. Ah. The boss pop is just one of my three favorite post pawn lures. The thing about the boss pop that I really like is it can imitate so many different things. You got a shad spawn going on right after the, uh, when the post spawn of the bass get done, that shad spawn's going on and you can really pop this bait and it sprays really well. It looks just like a shad trying to get away or it's up there spawning. And once the shad spawn kind of dies away, those bluegill are gonna get up there on beds and start spawning also. And those bass don't just leave and take off out to deep water. There's a bunch of them stay up there around those brim beds and are still gonna feed on those perch. And that's where you can take this bait and you can make it gurgle. You can slow it down and whenever you pop it, it's gonna whoop instead of spray. And if you want it to spray, you can work it faster and it looks more like a shad trying to get away. If you slow it down, you can make it gurgle and look like that perch that's just sitting there kind of maybe injured. And another real cool thing that I like about this bait, it's probably the thing I like the most, is you're throwing it out there, you can make it like say a fish is actually guarding fry and you want that bait to stay in that strike zone or you got a, a piece of cover that you really want that fish to really have to look at it. You can sit there and you can take little short twitches and that bait makes little bitty tight turns and it sets almost in one spot. Like you inch it along instead of it just going through the strike zone too fast. You can just make those short twitches and oh man, they can't handle that. There she is. <laughs> And she did not want to bite anything else, but she loves that wacky rig dinger. That is why that's probably my second favorite thing to pick up and throw in the post pond. And the reason that I love a dinger this time of year, especially a wacky rig, is because it's slow. You know, you can go and those fish are kind of lethargic because they're just getting off the beds and getting ready to go to their deeper stuff. But there's also those fry garden fish. And this bait sits there and it just, when it, you find those fry and you can throw it right up there to them and that bait just falls right in front of their face. And we don't see that it's really that in baiting, but those fish can't handle it because it stays in that strike zone so long. You know, as far as working this bait, less is more. You know, it's a slow methodical approach to fishing, but it catches fish. When I'm throwing it up there, I'm gonna throw it around. I'm gonna throw it past my cover like I do every bait. I don't ever wanna put it right on the piece of cover unless I'm flipping and actually isolating it. But I wanna throw past my piece of cover and I wanna let it sink a little bit and then I wanna just kinda of hop it up, hop it up there to it. And when you move it, that worm just, it goes back and forth. When you stop it, it just freezes and then all of a sudden it quivers back down just like it's supposed to. But pick that rod up a few times, get it up to the cover, let it just fall to the bottom. Like I said, less is more. And then pick it up a few more times, work it 10, 12 feet from the cover Reel back in, the next piece of isolated cover I'm going to, and repeat that over and over, and you're gonna get bit. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Jeez, come here now, get on up with no boat. Oh. That go ahead and puts me my third favorite bait, especially an old post spawn, the old Screaming Eagle. You know, Screaming Eagle, what's really cool about it is you can do so many different things with it. You know, it's a half ounce, it's got the weight transfer on the back so the bait will fall straight down, and you can cast this thing a country mile. The other thing is, is you can burn this bait, and it never lays over left or right, so you can cover tons of water, especially when those fish are up shallow, you can make them get that reaction strike and put them in the boat. And those are my three top post-spawn baits.